no sate in jega rewe awe jala in we nyo amen roha jala chalen diganam domo gorwe den ako bale pare anga apare gatanga no bine ndigo ido fop in we jala re yo no hare ay nga nga wonwa nga jam sa o baru do ka xicha bu waxon life in forusere is difficult there is no electricity or indoor plumbing until 2015 almost none of the residents had access to a latrine almost everyone resorted to going to the bathroom outside in the open and fewer than one in 10 people knew proper hand washing technique. The poor sanitary conditions made women's lives even more challenging. Bala in the gardus, mana in the tegu, no kalta tarkan. In an angaramek, poor at dus, apparent of a mana. Ya 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 wala asok kay abuga nga rek mek bon ko bala xana xom toko in fogu serer diarrhea is a common childhood illness a result of poor hygiene jega beta ta dak ango pe gay yo mayu 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 ango lo ngol de ngop te nam bi egu faj bo son mi yem nyota tawes mi jega am 17 ans Jaga wit dakat anyowa eh ando matorop abio ana nganjira wo tolor mo mana ando ne wo jegiro halis pur bisin hospital te adom te dom work connect team up with a peace corps volunteer and the village of Fogusere to improve hygiene sanitation and lives this locally led project resulted in 83 household latrines across Fogusere and two neighboring villages, as well as one at the local health hut. Local health volunteers, including Bayang, will train and mobilize to lead health and hygiene workshops in the community. Joho is president of a women's soap making collective whose products are in a greater demand since the hygiene workshops. Reconnect and the Peace Corps volunteer in Forusere began working with the collective to help them scale up. Mom 
murah na gigi nyawa safela jegam jam wodam basile samboda ya koi mi nyawa safela the residents of Fogusara and neighboring villages gathered to celebrate the inauguration of the latrines and the improved health of the community. The latrines and soap projects cost $10,000 and impacted hundreds of individuals. In 26 countries around the world, more than a thousand World Connect projects are helping families like Cho and Mayangs to improve their lives and contribute to their country's development.